Hello, Casa de Garcia. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Christina, and today I'm going to make some simple and easy mole. If this sounds like something you want to watch, go ahead and continue to watch, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Show some love in the comments and give this video a fat thumbs up. Hope you enjoy. First thing we're going to do is put our chicken to boil. You want a big saucepan. You always want to wash your chicken thoroughly first and then you're going to fill up your pan with water. I washed mine but I didn't vlog it. So I put about a third piece of an onion, about a pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of garlic, and then I put it to boil. Once it came to a mild boil, go ahead and cover it. I'm just going to give it a small stir. You don't want to break the chicken, just kind of give it a small stir. Then you're going to put the lid on it and then bring it to a boil. And then you're going to just give it some soft, gentle stirs. And then you're going to cover it again and then cook it on low. You're going to cook it for about a half hour. You shouldn't have to open the lid anymore. You'll open it next when you add the mole. Okay, it's been cooking for about a half hour more with the lid on it and it looks ready for the mole sauce. So now I'm just gonna give it a small little stir. I'm gonna turn it off until I have the mole ready. Okay, now we're gonna start working on the mole sauce. You're gonna take your two cans of Doña Maria mole sauce and we're gonna start emptying them into the pan. They are a little hard to get out. You gotta use a fork and just really start digging it in there. And you want it kind of on a lower heat so it doesn't overcook and burn so it can start melting as you are putting it in your pan also the reason why i wait till the chicken is about done is because i use the chicken broth for the mole sauce Alright, the first one is all done. Go ahead and give it a little stir and then start with the second jar. Okay, once they're both in there, you just want to go ahead and try to break it up a little bit and give it a stir. And then once it's kind of started to melt up, you're going to start adding the chicken broth. So I do about four parts chicken broth to one mole jar. Once you put that first cup of chicken broth, you're going to have to get in there and start stirring fast. You don't want it to overcook or be lumpy. You want to break up the mole um, and work with the chicken broth. Once it's got, you know, you, it seems to be mixed in good, you can start adding more. So yeah, you're just going to keep adding and stirring, adding and stirring. I add about a total of 8 cups to my 2 jars of the mole.
Now this is what eight cups of broth with the mole looks like. This is how thick I like it. If you want it thicker, you can add less water. If you want it thinner, add more broth. Um, there is gonna be a little bit of broth left inside of the chicken as well. I am gonna take out about four cups for my rice, but if there's a little bit left, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there. Okay, so I'm only gonna add a couple things. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of cumi cumino right here, and then I'm gonna stir it. I don't add more onion and garlic and salt because that was already in the chicken broth, but you can add a little bit more garlic if you would like. All right, so next I'm gonna add some peanut butter. I'm gonna start off with about two tablespoons of peanut butter. I don't really measure, I'm just trying to do my best to measure for this recipe. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons and then I will taste it and see if I need to add more. Some people use chocolate, some people add sugar. We, I use peanut butter, that's how my family made it when I was growing up. So you just wanna stir it in good and make sure it's all melted into the mole. Okay, after stirring it and tasting it, I'm gonna add about another tablespoon of peanut butter. Also, I forgot to add some chicken bouillon while into the mole, so I ended up adding it later while, you know, once the mole was inside of the chicken. But this is where you would wanna add it. You would start off with maybe a tablespoon or two of the chicken bouillon, stir it, and then taste it. Remember that you could never take away, but you can always add, but I feel like one to two tablespoons would be plenty. All right, once you have all the spices and stuff stirred in well, you're gonna go ahead and pour it over your chicken. If you can notice, there was a little bit of broth left in there after I took out my broth to make my rice. I always make rice with chicken broth. Oh my gosh, it's the best rice ever. So once you have the mole in there, you just wanna gently stir it. You don't wanna break up the chicken too much. So just give it a nice gentle stir, or I should say multiple stirs. <laughs> you just wanna make sure that the mole is in there really good. And then you're gonna go ahead and cover it and then bring it to a boil. And then again, you're gonna turn it all the way down to low and you're gonna cook it for about 20 more minutes. And then it's gonna thicken up more and just cook with the chicken. So I tasted it and realized it was missing flavor and this is definitely not where you want to add the chicken bouillon. You want to add it when you're mixing up your mole sauce before you add it to your chicken because when you start stirring your chicken too much it'll break up into pieces. But this is where I added it because I mean I needed that flavor and I'm just like I'm trying to do it in the middle like stir it up in the middle where I'm not going to like break up the chicken too much but yeah flavor is everything so I definitely didn't want to do without. All right, it's all done now. Time, my rice is done, that's done, so now time to serve it up. So remember guys, this is just the way I make it. You could make it to fit your needs. You could adjust seasonings, you can adjust what you wanna put on it. You don't have to use a jar, you could try to make it homemade. This is just how I make it. I try to make my life easy. I have a really busy life, so simple and easy is what works for me, and it's still delicious, so to each their own. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, I wasn't able to get an intro or an outro, but um, it came out so good. My husband loved it. The family loves it. It's a family favorite, and we even had enough for two days. Don't forget to give this video a fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and let me know if you love mole and how you make it. Thanks for all the love and support, and we hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.